Hello, how are you? I often get to hear, my child knows his alphabets. He can recognize all the alphabet, but he cannot write. I got in so many worksheets, so many tracing papers, but he is not writing. Then I tell you one thing, your whole approach is so wrong. Child are not supposed to start with tracing. They need to have their motor skill develop. And this is what happens. We never focus on how my child is holding a pencil, which is my child preferred hand. And we jump to the main objective of giving them a big, big workbooks. So I tell you, let's stop here and let me take you through the right approach of writing let's start this is gunjan owner and founder of roots and wings kids academy and i get to see this every year that a child has a problem in holding the pencil and i tell you generally that they hold it like this or something like this but it's never between their index finger and the thumb and the whole approach is to make them use their three fingers so i have some writing rules for the kids and my writing rules is this one First, prominent hand if you get to know the prominent hand then go to the second stage so like for example for my son he is left-handed and my daughter she is right-handed and both of them have their own preferred hand once i know this then they can I will work on the finger crepping for that i will never give them a big pencil i will always give them a small pencil because it be it helps them to hold it tight and then they go closer to the tip of the pencil which really helps in writing or when they have when they start writing then i give them crayons because at that time it's very important that they go unstructured way the the only aim is to make the finger strong make the motor skill develop so we have to use that and for that thing give them color they can do as much color as they want I know their walls will be colored and painted, but this is part of writing. Even still, I clean my house. My daughter loves going behind the curtains and write on the wall. So the finger grip. Once the finger grip is done, then is the pre-writing sign. And the pre-writing sign, I can show you here. What is that? Like a big, let me bring it closer so that it's more visible here so I can show you a big slipping line a small slipping line a big standing line a small standing line a diagonal line another diagonal line a circle and then uh, I can make a standing line a diagonal line another diagonal line so let's make a small sleeping line. Let's make another small sleeping line. Oh, this boy is this it is not laughing. Let's make the let's make a semicircle. Oh, let's make some hair too. I want no, I want orange hair. Oh, let's make orange hair. One standing line, another standing line another standing line so many hairs so many orange hair so this is how what we do this is the good way to teach them these are all pre-writing skills and in a fun way after once your child gets into this pre-writing stage and when he becomes very comfortable then you will go to the 
imitation state and in imitation state i follow one thing my turn your turn like kids love to play like that for them everything has to be a game if you don't make it game just give the tracing paper then it will become a painful ordeal again so just focus give them stories make stories play with them and writing will become a joyful experience i have been doing this and i've always been successful this way so i tell you this so imitation state here you see those dots always give them a starting reference point from where they start what i mean to say here is like when you imitate means copying i copy you so i will say here i will use the phrase my turn your turn so my turn and i will use the exactly same small pencils which i will give it to my child because we are passing we are passing back and forth so i will say my turn standing line oh let me take another pen then i will say oh your turn hmm. your turn is this visible yes i will say your turn standing line very good i will say my turn diagonal line your turn then say diagonal line good job keep praising them if they do it then comes the tracing part here it comes once your child is perfect with imitation then only go to tracing part never jump to tracing and in tracing don't leave behind the imitation still continue with the imitation and these kind of sheets you can make all by yourself so again first i will do my turn sleeping line your turn sleeping line here i'm just using sleeping line but i will say my turn standing line your turn standing line then i will ask them to copy so they will copy here diagonal line another diagonal line sleeping line again and here which i always give the reference point where they know from where they have to start copy it okay start from the dot standing line one curve two curve the b has two curve so this is how we write you can see two bubbles two curve so once they and when you give them copy for tracing don't give them those dotted ones the broader ones it becomes easier for them so still keep doing my turn your turn and the tracing and once the tracing part is over Go then for your copy in the copy you write something and your child will write the same thing like here i say i will write diagonal line another diagonal line sleeping line can you copy it then your child will copy diagonal line another diagonal line so here i'm showing but what i will do here that i will already write those things i will already write it and then i will just ask my ch child to do the copying can you copy b standing line one curve two curve this is how they so let them copy but don't still don't skip the my turn and your turn that's a key that's a key because there you will keep saying diagonal line sleeping line standing line curve that helps them and then is our ultimate goal which is independent writing and when we do independent writing you can just say can we write a diagonal line another diagonal line sleeping line can we write b standing line one curve 
two curve can we write C a big curve so they will be they will reach to this stage without any hassle if you are going to practice all the previous stages and this is really helpful so one important tip never start with tracing never ever start with tracing and always starts with capital letter that's the two key point of writing when your child passes through pre-writing sign after this hope you like this video and i will also make a video about how to introduce pre-writing signs in detail so please subscribe to my channel and if you like my video then please press the like button and don't forget to leave a comment because i need to know how my tips are working for you or if you have any other tips that works for your child then you can definitely share with us and that will help many parents thank you